Hello, my name is Aurora and today we're gonna do a TED talk. And I'm sorry if you like hear my cat the whole time throughout this. Um, she's purring. I scratched her butt before this and she's just like down bad for that, you know. She really likes it. Her name is Tui, so she might be here a while. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you what I had for breakfast. And what I had for breakfast was just a bowl full of cereal. You know, it's a pretty common thing. You know, there was a there was a study not too long ago that involved 2,000 people and this man took him in and he just asked him a question, you know, what What do you eat for breakfast most often, you know? And 56% of people said cereal, you know, and which rightfully so. It's quick, it's easy, it's, you know, very cheap, you know, it's like ramen for college, that type beat. Anyway, um, I had cereal for breakfast and, you know, I get my ingredients down, I get my bowl, I get my cereal, and then I get my milk. And then what comes after this scares people. It scares most people because they're frightened of new things. And like, I get that. Honestly, I get that. What I do is I pour milk and then I pour my cereal on top of it. Then I get my spoon, then I go ham. And it's not the part where I go ham on my cereal that frightens people. It's the part where I pour my milk first. And like, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, okay? Literally nothing. And I'm gonna give you some reasons why pouring milk first is the better option, okay? My first point has to do with the sogginess of the cereal, okay? When you pour, you know, your cereal first and you pour that milk on top of it, you're getting both layers all soggy, okay? Sorry, I almost threw up, you know, because it's disgusting. You get it? Do you get the joke I just made? By pouring milk first, you're avoiding this horrific, disgusting outcome, okay? Because the cereal floats on the milk just long enough for you to finish pouring out the cereal and like this preserves you know that coveted crunch of your hard-earned breakfast okay you got up in the morning and you made that bowl of cereal okay and for you to just soil that for you to throw that away and just just soggy up your cereal is disgusting okay because soggy cereal in the morning is like waking up and punishing yourself right away punishing yourself for even waking up in general okay why would you do that why would you do that to yourself okay by pouring milk first you're, you're preserving everything. You know, you have just enough time to dig in, you know, go sit down on your bed, go sit down on the kitchen table. I don't know where you eat your cereal, okay? I, I ate it in the car one time, a bowl and all, you know, it wasn't the best idea. I got milk everywhere. My second point, and I cannot stress this enough, you do not know how much milk you are pouring into your bowl of cereal. Let me ask you one question, okay? Do you enjoy just drinking a simple glass of milk? Just, just a glass of milk, nothing else, you know, no no chocolate syrup poured in, you know, not stirring that around, not the strawberry powder, Nesquik, you know, not none of that, just straight milk, okay? And most people, and I've asked this to like maybe 10 people, I know that's not a lot, but to me that's a lot, I don't like got that many friends. I've asked, you know, I've asked several people, hey, do you like just drinking straight milk? And I swear, I think almost all of them said, no, that is disgusting. What are you talking about? Get out of my face. And like, I personally like drinking, you know, glasses of milk, but not everyone does. So if you don't like drinking just a straight glass of milk, why on earth would you just pour your milk willy nilly all on top of your holy grail, aka that fine looking cereal, to have a puddle of milk left to drink at the end? You have a puddle sitting there for you. And some might point out the fact that hey, that's extra milk to go back for seconds. And like, okay, I I guess, but sometimes you may pour too much milk over that pre-existing used up lukewarm puddle of milk at the bottom of the bowl that you have no choice but to add another spill of milk on top of that. Cold and warm milk together? Disgusting, all consuming in a bad way and worse than that one time I ate expired ham. So the outcome of this, the outcome of pouring these two different temperatured milks together Either you meet your goal of finishing off the rest of that milk with another bowl of cereal and are now just super full, or you just end up with another puddle at the end of your bowl. Sad face, okay. By pouring milk first, you're assuring your perfect cereal to milk ratio is met. That perfect combo that you've been yearning for that entire time. My last and final reason has to do with the overall messiness of this 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 combination when you pour your cereal first you have no idea how it's gonna land okay you don't you know sit there and individually place your cereal in your bowl you're insane if you do that i'm sorry i don't make the rules but that is that you don't do that 
okay it falls in there randomly you know no choice on your part you pour it in there and like you know that's half the work you know it's cereal and milk it's just two steps 50 percent. you're 50 percent there you're that much closer to your cereal and then what you get your milk you pour it on top of it and you might be a little rushed you know you, uh, you know you could be eating cereal any time of the day okay it could be before like i said before you go to work you're, you're busy or rushing it's got to be a quick meal you're you just woke up in the morning you know you're groggy you don't got time for this you just want you you just want that in your mouth and what i'm saying is when you pour this milk the cereal in your bowl sits at like that perfect angle that perfect degree to the point where this falling milk on top of it and it just splatters everywhere it shoots up in your face and you're like ah oh, oh my god there's milk in my face you know scary okay i get jump scared i'm a little weenie okay i can't deal with that especially in the mornings okay so that is just another mess for you to clean up you know you gotta you gotta already clean the bowl you gotta clean the spoon all this is just extra work and now on top of that you gotta, you gotta, maybe you have to change your shirt, okay? Maybe you have to change your shirt. Maybe you had to go into work and you're wearing like a really nice suit, okay? You gotta, you gotta go change your suit now. Sorry about that, man. Or you gotta clean your countertops. Maybe they're like that granite countertops and those things are cool. I love those countertops, but to get milk on it, disgusting, okay? When you pour milk first, you save yourself the trouble and the extra step of having to clean up spilled milk. Sorry, sorry, sorry guys, I don't know what came over me, sorry, I'm usually more cool than that. Anyway, in 1863, a man by the name of James Caleb Jackson, three first names, which is very weird, I don't like that, um, invented the first cereal, and he called it Granula. It was so hard, so hard of a cereal, you, you had to like make it sit in milk overnight. You had to let it soak overnight before you could eat the next morning. Hyperglycemic. Hyperglycemic? Okay. Today, though, we have an assortment of cereals ranging from especially healthy brands and grains and granola to especially hyperglycemic inducing cookies and crunch. Um, these brands have shaped our childhoods and it's up to us to pay them the respect they deserve. In order to give these cereals the respect they deserve, we need to treat them like the, like the amazing little things they are okay we need to address the fact that pouring milk on top of cereal creates this this soggy mess you know this this disgusting you know that you know that you know disgusting in your mouth i don't want that in my mouth hole especially in the mornings i told you earlier i am i i will throw up i will throw up we need to establish the perfect milk to cereal ratio and in order to, and in order to do that you need to pour the milk first you need to see how much you're pouring out okay you can't just pour your cereal and then go willy-nilly all ham with that milk you know you don't know how much you're getting and no one's going to take out the time to get a measuring cup and to do this whole measuring thing no one wants to do that okay so by pouring your milk first you know exactly how much is in there you already know how much cereal you can eat and you can already see that on top okay so there's no problem there and then we can just simply address the deal of messiness okay we can just avoid having to clean up, you know, the counters, you change your clothes, everything like that, just by pouring milk first, okay? Nothing's gonna splash everywhere. It's not gonna shoot off in your face. You're gonna be like, ah, oh, oh my god, you know? Ah. And those are those are my points. Okay, I am an avid consumer of cereal. I love cereal. I mess with it. But to have someone tell me that pouring milk first is is completely insane unreasonable unlogical illogical <laughs> that's where i draw the line that's where i draw the line bro i eat my cereal the way i eat it because i am a woman of the 21st century i am brown i have glasses i let me eat my cereal come here baby let's say thank you let's say thank you look say thank you ah, say thank you <laughs> thank you for listening to my ted talk um, I hope you take my points into consideration, you know, milk before cereal gang. It's not, uh, that sounds weird, <laughs> but thank you for listening to my TED talk. Oh my God, that meme makes sense now. Thanks for listening to my TED talk.
Sorry. Okay. Bye. <laughs>